Since we are on the subject of showing and hiding elements, let's see how we can hide the string interpolation syntax that appears on the page until Vue.js is bootstrapped. Since the string interpolation syntax is simply a part of the HTML as normal text, the browser will render it as such. It will then be displayed for as long as it takes Vue.js to compile the template. Usually this happens only for a blink of the eye, but could vary depending on how fast a given browser downloads the Vue.js framework, among other factors. Perhaps you have noticed a brief flicker when we have been running examples within JS Fiddle. This flicker is caused by the string interpolation being displayed initially before being replaced by our data. To solve this, Vue provides a very useful directive named vCloak. When attaching this directive to an element, it will remain there until the view instance associated with the template finishes its compilation. So when the template is rendered and attached to the DOM, the directive is removed. This is very useful to us, because we can then add a CSS style, which ensures that all elements with the vcloak directive are not displayed. And when Vue.js is loaded up, the elements become visible, because the directive is then removed from the elements. Let's see that in action. The example that I have added in advance simply renders a message data property within a paragraph. Since my browser already has the Vue.js framework cached, we won't even see a flicker most of the time. So to slow things down a bit, I'll wrap the view instance within the timeout function with a five second delay. So I will simply go down here to the JavaScript code and I can just write set timeout, which is just the JavaScript function. Pass in a function here and say 5000 for five seconds and move the view instance up here. Running the code, we'll see that the string interpolation syntax is displayed for 5 seconds before being replaced by the data properties value. Before running the code once again, let's first add the vcloak directive to the paragraph element. Since the directive doesn't take any expression or arguments, we'll just enter its name. So we can just write V cloak like that. Let's run the code again, but this time let's inspect the paragraph. Notice how the V cloak is added as an HTML attribute on a DOM element, but when the view instance is ready, it's removed. This is not useful until we add some CSS that hides elements with this attribute. So let's do just that. So I'll go up here to the style section and I'll say that elements with the vcloak attribute should have a display of none. So this is just to match any elements that have the vcloak attribute, which is a result of having the vcloak directive added. So let's run the code again and see which difference it makes. Now we no longer see the string interpolation being displayed initially, but after 5 seconds, the correct output appears. What happens here is that for as long as the vcloak HTML attribute is present on the element, it's hidden by our CSS style. And when the view instance compiles the template, it removes the vcloak directive and the element then appears. So the vcloak directive combined with a simple CSS style is used to hide string interpolation from the user as it might not look so pretty to present this to the user until Vue.js is loaded.